There's people dressed like your car. Already? How weird <laughs> yeah, was yeah, that? I know. <laughs> Hundreds of costumes, a tight turnaround, and a brilliantly collaborative process? Just a small part of bringing the Epic Eternals costumes, hair, and makeup to life. It was a lot of fun for you. It was. When Angelina Jolie is in a film, she goes all out. The actress was heavily involved in the design and feel of her character's look. Could we expect anything less from the one and only Thena? Jolie brought the costume, makeup, and hair teams together so they could bring her style out harmoniously, respecting the comic's representation and including Jolie's portrayal to bring the most powerful character they could to the screen. And that's when I found out I'd been putting the pants on backwards. <laughs> While Kumail Nanjiani looks as slick as can be in his superhero costume, the actor awkwardly discovered a full three weeks into filming that he'd had his pants on backwards every day. To be fair, it wasn't like he was throwing on civilian clothing. It's my first time being a superhero. It's your first Seth. superhero movie. The Eternal suits came with many parts, which could get kind of confusing to put on the right way. And with so many people there to help, we can just imagine how chaotic dressing would be. The whole process took a fair amount of time, and the long hours on set are already exhausting as it is, so really, it could happen to anybody. Now, while the discovery he was misdressing himself for weeks at work was no doubt awkward, this new information was tough for the actor to face for quite a different reason. Nanjani is a very talented actor. In fact, he even taught himself a new skill on the set of Eternals by fluke. Since Nanjiani's pants were on backwards, it seemed as though going to the washroom would cause quite a ruckus, especially since so many people had to help him get into it. So he opted to be a team player and figure out how to not need the bathroom for long periods of time. If I was wearing it all day, I would like not have water, not have coffee, like be careful, right? Fortunately, his co-star Brian Tyree Henry let him in on a helpful secret. And he said, there's a zipper. This was the moment he figured out those pants were on the wrong way. Anyone else get totally caught in the brilliant visuals of the Bollywood magic happening in Eternals? This scene was a dream come true for the designer Saran Kohli, who literally tripped while on the phone when discovering he'd gotten the gig on this epic Marvel movie. Excited to share his Bollywood style and represent South Asians, Saran was responsible for designing the costumes for all 52 dancers we see in the scene. And he helped out with Kumail's as well. Es que yo no sé nada de superhéroes, no conozco estos personajes. No, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es ella? Salma Hayek never thought she'd be playing a superhero, and even almost completely passed on Eternals because she was worried they'd want her to play someone's grandmother. ¿Sabrá mi edad esta señora? While she was excited by the whole experience, she didn't feel too eager to try on her superhero outfit. I'm claustrophobic. I was terrified of the costume. Luckily, once she actually had it on, any fear of claustrophobia or overwhelm melted away. I found myself profoundly moved. And it shows through her performance. Costume designer Sammy Sheldon Differ had it right when she said Hayek looked like the CEO of the universe in her costume. When some eager fans caught a peek of what was going on behind the scenes of Eternals, a rumor went around that Jolie had gone blonde for the movie. And she did. Except there was no hair dye in sight. Jolie's wig had an impressive team behind it. Gretchen Evans made the base, another hairstylist, Blaine Dowling, was responsible for getting the color just right, and Academy Award winner Adrutha Lee made it camera perfect, styling on point. But like, you're like, oh, oh you know, it's a. Uh... It's quite hard to move in. Barry Kilgan might have wished his costume actually was CGI, since the actor constantly felt overwhelmed by his outfits and all three layers they came with. I complained every day about it. Coming back to set after the holidays wasn't so great either, since the already constricting costumes felt quite a bit more snug. Despite any discomfort the actor felt, he couldn't help but admire just how epic these costumes looked in the end. Yeah. I, I did love my costume and the color of it and everything. But considering some of the warm climates filming did take place, we can't totally blame him for all the complaining on set. Seeing yourself as a superhero for the first time no doubt brings all the feels. It's always overwhelming when you put these things on for the first time. Just the experience of doing fittings was very emotional for Brian Tyree Henry, as he wasn't totally convinced he could be made to look like a superhero, but sure enough, the costume department showed him the hero he could be. It's really great to show that anybody can be a hero. Trying on his finished costume and looking in the mirror left the actor in tears. Could we love this film and cast anymore? Cuando me lo puse, me, me, me solté a llorar. 
One of the best parts of building the Eternals world was how collaborative the process was between the performers and the costume department. I mean, what, what was great about this is we had such a wonderful input on the... Sammy Sheldon Differ, who designed the costumes for Eternals, became a cast favorite, helping them find themselves in these characters, and all while ensuring the actors were comfortable enough to perform. I go in and I'm like, oh, this bit of the costume is kind of, you know, cutting me off there in the ribs, and then, you know, they, they would just tweak and tweak and tweak. Typically, the makeup trailer is limited to just a handful of performers at a time, if not just one, depending on the makeup needs. But when doing Eternals, the makeup the makeup truck was more like a makeup party bus. The major makeup truck had 10 seats in it, so all the leads could get prepped together. All of the actors had their own makeup artist. Could we expect anything less from a Marvel movie? While plenty of time was spent joking around and catching up with each other, when crunch time came along, they got to rehearse their dialogue for huge scenes all together while prepping. Needless to say, by the end of filming, this Marvel family was extremely close. Not only were they costuming Marvel superheroes, these performers had extensive wardrobes. Anyone who's around through thousands of years would need a multitude of clothing staples, right? Rather than just choosing costumes based on what might look good, the civilian outfits for present day continued to represent the core of their characters, making sure there was a common tie between each of their different outfits. The colors of all their different costumes having a similar vibe is no coincidence. After about four months of designing costumes, the team quickly began building some of the hundreds of outfits needed in the summer so they could film in October. The tweaking unsurprisingly continued well into December though. They had their work cut out for them with each superhero suit taking at least a full two weeks to build. And that isn't even considering the nine copies that were needed for the stunt performers, picture doubles, and just backups. The designs of these costumes were exquisite, but bringing all the magic captured on a 2D surface to the camera was a major feat. 140 workers were on the case, custom making suits that were broken down into anywhere from 20 to over 200 separate pieces. Zippers, snaps, velcro, whatever could get the job done and allow the actor to move well. Feel like there were similarities between certain characters' looks within the Eternals? Half of them were put into Team Thinkers, while the other half were Team Fighters. The Thinkers had more of a flowing look to their outfits, while the Fighters… well, their gear had to enable them to do what they do best. In every case, they hit the right marks. These costumes are brilliant, but complicated. I, I just arrived at the red carpet and I started seeing all these people dressed as Oz. She was emotional seeing herself in her Ajax costume for the first time. But what really got Salma Hayek in the feels was seeing so many people dressed up as their characters at the premiere. I wanted to cry! One family in particular really moved the actress. The father and then the mother was dressed, they were Latinos, as Ajax, and the three little daughters also like Ajax. We can't blame Kumail for having trouble with his superhero suit. Hopefully, he can help future Marvel actors figure out how to be able to go to the washroom in their costumes. 